the leg. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know why I want it to be like a a musical. It would need to be like a Christmas um, iconic eats musical where we like eat and sing and dance all at the same time. It's like it's a dolly with Christmas. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Adriana. Okay, you guys have asked us so many times. Go to Dollywood. Go to Dollywood for Christmas. Go to Dollywood. For Christmas. And we're here. We traveled all the way to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee to come to Dollywood to see it during Christmas. It's a Smoky Mountain Christmas, y'all. I am so excited. We are going to see this beautiful park in the daytime, but then also in the nighttime, and there is over six million lights. So when the sun goes down, this whole park is gonna sparkle just like Miss Dolly Parton would. I am ready to try all of the food. This is a Christmas special, y'all. We're gonna have cookies, cupcakes, milkshakes, hot chocolate, something called wassail, turkey, pot roast, mac and cheese, flatbreads. And it's not an iconic eats episode without an iconic food item. I have heard so many times, when you go to Dollywood, you have to try the cinnamon bread. And we are finally gonna get it. It is wafting through the parks. I can smell it now. I am so ready. This is Iconic Eats. I know you're gonna want me to not just get to walk through here. I have to walk all the way around. Do, do we ever question this? Why am I doing this? There's no one else here. Oh, okay. I am gonna, I'm so excited, can you tell? <laughs> Can I get a red velvet whoopie pie? It's as big as my head. It's as big as your face. I mean, I got a big face, but. At the Spotlight Bakery. It is our first stop of the day. As you can see, I'm very excited because it's going to be so much sugar. Just like the previous episode, we're starting with all of the sweet stuff first. So this is the red velvet whoopie pie. Oh, all right. We have lots and lots of cream cheese filling. It looks amazing. It looks soft. Look how pillowy. Ooh. You ready? Get in slow-mo. Oh, we, okay. slow, we start slow-mo early. <laughs> I didn't need teeth for that. It's a pillow and it just disintegrated into lovely, yummy, red velvet goodness in my mouth. Really Come on, yeah. Okay. You need to, you need to bite this. Okay. Ooh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, you didn't need teeth. It disintegrate. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah you, you can take your dentures out. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, wait, what? That this red wrong. velvet whoopie pie is blessing us this morning, okay? Get it. That's the only thing I can say. We have a gingerbread people, because you don't know what this gingerbread identifies as, okay? I really love that they're called gingerbread people. It's just like... It's so with it, it's so hip, and of course, Miss Dolly is gonna be with it. You did what I would do, you were savage. In the head. It is like that roasty, toasty flavor that you like with, associate with like a fresh baked cookie. Even though it's fresh baked, it's like, it's not hot. Okay, does that make any sense to you? Like what a cookie tastes like when it's fresh out the oven and hot, and you're just like <laughs> But this is not hot, and it has that same flavor. It's just good. I, I already love this cookie. Okay, this is, we're still at the bakery and it's sugar. I expect for this to be really soft and yummy. I like that sugar cookies taste like underbaked. It's like nice and soft and doughy and has like that like good sugar cookie flavor that you like enjoy where it's almost just like Slightly done dough. Classic? Mmm. Classic Christmas. I feel like for other reviews I say a lot like, 
Oh, it tastes like somebody's grandma made this. Oh, somebody's grandma is in the back making these. That's what this is. Now you're doing three cupcakes. Three cupcakes are next. I feel like I could be, I could be done. I just want to eat the rest of my cookie. But the cupcakes do look good, so let's try those. It's a hot cocoa cupcake. Look at the little snowman. It's a chocolate cupcake with cream cheese icing, um, regular cream cheese, and then like this is like a chocolate cream cheese. It is so delicious. I learned that people eat their cupcakes like this. I don't want to, I don't oh, want to no. smash him, but you killed they him. like make a whoopie pie out of this. Is the most uneven whoopie pie cupcake joint I have ever seen. But some people do it like this, and that makes it like more of a better ratio of like cake to frosting. It is the same icing as the whoopie pie, and that's why I love it so much. <laughs> that poor snowman. He's in there. He's just like, no, help me. Help me. It doesn't really taste like hot chocolate. I think it would taste delicious with hot chocolate. I think the only thing they did was add chocolate or like cocoa to the cream cheese icy, and that's what makes it like more chocolatey. But it's good. It's delicious. There's more cupcakes to try. So let's go get another one. I got a cupcake and they playing Christmas music. It's an eggnog cupcake. We about to eat it today. <laughs> I'm uh, two seasons in. I'm really letting my personality show, okay? <laughs> I wish you guys could smell this. It smells just like eggnog. All right. This is their infamous cream cheese icing again, but with eggnog flavor. And you can see the nutmeg in it. And I'm gonna try to take a good bite. At this part of the, the episode, I would normally compare cupcake to cupcake, but we got one more cupcake. So let me go get that cupcake and then I'm gonna compare all three to each other, okay? Yeah. All right. It's our last cupcake. This one is the red velvet peppermint cupcake. One thing they believe in at Dollywood is making some red velvet. And I am a-okay with that. All right, so we have a red velvet cupcake with that regular buttercream ice cream that is red and then that cream cheese ice cream as well. I'm ice cream, I'm mean icing. Cream cheese icing as well. And then they pop an Andy's mint chocolate right on top. For this one, I want to, I just, I want to break it, okay? Oh. Oh, oh no! It no! matches your shoes. Mmm, <gasps> wait. I got a crunch. Because there's peppermint pieces in it. Crunchy and soft and sweet and delicious and minty. And I never thought anything could overpower the flavor of red velvet, but it does. There's more mint than red velvet. So, if we're going to compare all three cupcakes, hot chocolate, eggnog, and peppermint, I'm going to go with the eggnog. The eggnog had the most flavor. It was the most inventive to me. It was the most different. Uh, make me a judge on um, Cupcake Wars or something, because I am a cupcake aficionado at this point. I need a drink, but it, not just any drink. A milkshake. Let's go, Chelsea. Fit check. Okay, Chelsea, have you noticed my outfit? Do I look like a Christmas dream? Do I look like this is the cover of my very own Hallmark movie? When I was picking out this outfit, I wanted to channel the Dolly Parton herself. So I thought this would be very appropriate. She always is in a, in a pantsuit. I felt like that was very her modern, um, skin tight to show off the body. And then just like a Santa, a Santa fit, a Santa moment. Two days ago, when we first got here, me, Chelsea, and Julia went shopping. So, Cause I was gonna add one more thing and to get some accessories. So we saw these butterflies and Dolly really likes butterflies. I love this story because it's like very similar to my own, but like because butterflies can fly, like 
they symbolize freedom and like being free. And when I first moved to my own apartment, I collected butterflies and birds too, and like had them as little decor because I felt free. And so, uh, if Miss Dolly, if you see this outfit, I hope I made you proud. I hope you like it. Oh, let's go get a shake. Smoky Mountain Christmas. Eggnog milkshake. One of my favorite Christmas drinks is eggnog. I know, controversial. This is a dry park. The only thing that I wish that I had was a little bit of you know, to put in it. Let's try it. Mmm. She's thick. So I love eggnogs when they only have like a slight eggy flavor to them, not like a big punch of eggs. Certain eggnogs, like if you make a homemade eggnog, it tastes like eggs. Um, but this one, this is like, it's light, it's light, it has lots of nutmeg in it, cinnamon, allspice, all of like the good Christmas flavors that you enjoy in your eggnog, but in a wonderful milkshake package. So it's gonna cool you off if it's hot, or if, you, if you're just like a person who likes to have milkshakes on cold days, because there's people out there like that, then this is perfect for you. Ice cream, sandwich. All right, so we got two chocolate cookies. <laughs> they look great with vanilla ice cream and just rolled in so much peppermint. It's so pretty. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, ooh. That is cold. So it's like when you have a piece of gum in your mouth and then you drink cold water at the same time and the inside of your mouth feels like it is quite literally the North Pole. That's exactly what this is doing because it's like cold ice cream, but then it's like peppermint at the same time. And so when you eat it, your whole mouth is like, mm, mm. but it's delicious. Are we ready for savory? Is that what's next? Uh-huh. Wow. I am on a sugar rush and I'm going to crash. So I need something savory to keep it going. Let's go. Christmas toasty. Oh, I cannot tell you how ready I am for this Christmas toasty. We just got through eating all of those confections, a lot, a lot of sugar. I finally, I need savory. My mouth is ready. This is a Christmas toasty. It is turkey pot roast, Brussels sprouts, uh, cranberry aioli, dressing, Swiss cheese, all on a buttery roll. This is very hot, hot and fresh. I think it's gonna be the theme of the day. I'm gonna try to eat this without scolding the inside of my mouth. <laughs> oh my God, wait a minute. It is toasty, it is Christmas. I was wondering if like turkey pot roast was different from like just regular like sliced turkey, if they like simmer it or do something special to it. It looks like it's like fresh carved turkey though. Like there's edges on it. So like it's like jelly carved turkey, not like a fresh turkey. Um, there is a lot and lots of like seasoning in this stuffing. There's celery, there's green pepper. It is giving me all of like the homey, warm flavors that you want during Christmas. And then to have like just a, a just a bucket of gravy to dip it in afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dippy for you. That's a good dip. I'm just gonna like, you can't hold it, I'm just gonna put it in your mouth. What? I mean, Pass the camera yeah. into your mouth. How was that? I'm so happy. All right, second savory item. I really wanna call the second item of the day. Sweets don't count. All right, so this is the chicken pot pie in a bread cone. Sometimes I think in life, soup is amazing. The only thing that makes soup better is if it's in a bread bowl or a bread cone. All right, so this is like your traditional pot pie filling, but inside of like a homemade 
like toasty, warm bread, tortilla-esque type of thing. Everybody knows the best part of chicken pot pie is the filling. So let's just dig right in. I don't, do I have to explain to you what's inside of a chicken pot pie? No, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, what if the whole review was just me making sounds? It was like no notes, just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So far, am I emotional already? This is, <laughs> this is about to be a really fun episode. This is like Christmas, every Christmas food you can think of, but they like revamp it and redo it and like do it in this really fun way. So the Christmas toasty was like Christmas dinner, but in a sandwich. And then this is like your traditional grandma's pot pie, but handheld and walkable. <gasps> it's walkable. Wait, is this a cornucopia of pot it's pie? A it's a cornucopia of pot pie. <laughs> Chili potato tart. All right, so we just walked over to the marketplace. It's right next to the place we were just at. Um, so, doo -doo -doo, you know, just a little bit over. This is the chili potato tornado. How many times have I said that? Um, we have tried something similar to this at Universal. Um, it is called a Twisted Tater in Universal, but in Dollywood, it's cousin's name. It's country cousin is named a potato tornado. It has chili, cheese, um, green onions and then like a zesty seasoning on it. Oh, 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 and it is just sitting. Wow. Wow. I hope it looks as good on the other side as it looks on my side. I feel like my side is real sexy. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Oh, oh. Wow. I know. Okay. <sighs> I want to just like. I need help. What do you want me to do? No, just let it happen. Can, I, can you tell that I'm enjoying myself? You heard that? I have never had a twisted tater that crunched like that. That's why you gotta get the potato tornado. The potato tornado, you can get it plain. Um, I think it's a really good snack, but if you get it with like the meat and the cheese and all of the stuff on top, I think it's like a more heartier option of a snack. So it might not fill you up completely, but it's gonna get you somewhere. The bottom pieces are the best. It's just like potato chips and cheese and chili. I mean, no, because I gotta try more. You're not leaving me anywhere. I'm not ready for this to be over. This, the adventure continues. This is the red velvet funnel cake. It is a red velvet batter made into a funnel cake with a cream cheese frosting on top. And then it is topped with whipped cream and then more funnel cake pieces chopping. It is a monster. You're gonna get everything fresh here at Dollywood. And like, as it should be. Hmm. <laughs> Dolly is serenading me. I am eating a red velvet funnel cake. This is my Christmas dream. Because we're at a theme park and I can't come to a theme park without giving you the best advice. Before we go to our next spot, I have to tell you guys about the restaurant we ate at yesterday. It is called Aunt Granny's, not Auntie Granny's. Apparently I'm saying it wrong. Aunt Granny's. It was so good. It is a all you care to eat, family style dining sit down location. There was fried chicken, catfish, macaroni and cheese, uh, but, uh, cabbage. It was delicious. Me and Chelsea were so full and so happy. I highly recommend it.
this is the stuffing stacker. I keep asking for cornbread dressing, and they finally gave it to me here at Dolly, Dollywood, but it is called the stuffing stacker. Look at this, this is what cornbread dressing really looks like. It is a bready, beautiful, yellow, not brown, just ugh, beauty. Oh my word. That is she's hot and she's fresh. Can I, I would like to live in this, the, right here in this pile. It's just warm and delicious and amazing. Okay. Let me explain to you why I like cornbread dressing more than I like stuffing. Cornbread dressing is like sweet. It's made with cornbread, but there's sage, fresh sage in it. So it just has like the most distinct, like just Christmassy flavor. I associate it with the holidays. And like it just, it's very different from stuffing, which is made with bread. It's $13.99. This is just a, a bowl of everything that you want. And it's not gonna be the prettiest item on the menu, but it's the most filling. It's the most satisfying. It is a hefty, heavy girl. It is all of the starches plus a little meat on top. And what else would you want during Christmas dinner but this? Feed the camera woman. You never feed Chelsea. She's starving. I read the comments. She's not starving. She eats everything. <laughs> <laughs> One Chelsea review time. <laughs> this is the turkey campfire skillet. It is pot roast, turkey, potatoes, onions, and peppers. They gonna give what they gonna do. They gonna give you a lot of food. I'm just gonna dig in and and stop playing with y'all. It's yeah. This is it's pork and turkey at the same time. I don't know if you can see the distinction of like the difference between the pork and the turkey. I feel like once they're all together in the gravy, they're just similar. Both dishes that I just tried are very similar in texture and flavor. If you had to choose between the two, I would definitely go <laughs> with the turkey stuffing stacker um, because that one just like made me feel homey. And I like the mashed potatoes instead of like the roasted potatoes and the cranberry sauce on top. But I feel like that's the only thing that this one's missing. I want that same cranberry sauce, that, but they, they're both the same feeling. So if you like pork, do this one. If you just like turkey and cornbread stuffing, then do that. These are the Chipotle turkey nachos. This is the same turkey that we've been having. It's that pot roast turkey, but this time they put Chipotle and honey in it. We have cheese, we have white queso, we have um, a pico de gallo, like a simple pico, just like tomato, onion, um, and then oh, jalapeno. I have what is the perfect bite. It's got all the cheeses, a little bit of the meat, a whole jalapeno. Let's get it. You just can't go wrong with nachos at a theme park. No matter how you do them, they're always gonna be good. It's always gonna feel right. It's the appropriate place to have them. And like, you could like, you could go crazy with the toppings. Like it could have more on it. It could have like sour cream on top of it. It could have guacamole on top of it. But like just the turkey with like, that slow roasted turkey with the chipotle and the honey, it's like, gives it a little bit of sweet, a little bit of spicy, a little bit of savory. It's delicious. I want to see how many other ways they can make this turkey because I'm obsessed. So the last three we've had come from the same place. They all have that, that roasted pot roast turkey. <clears throat> Amazing. They're all $13.99. Out of the three, I would go with um, the stuffing stacker that should be called a dressing stacker because it's cornbread dressing in it. <laughs> These turkey nachos good though, but <laughs> That's gonna be the best bang for your buck. You ready, Chelsea? Yeah. Let's go! Specialty mint hot chocolate. So we have Andy's mint chocolates on top, and then we have peppermint pieces, marshmallows, and then obviously, it's sitting in whipped cream. Let's try. <laughs> Even though we have all of this mint on top, it isn't like a big punch of mint. Like it's just like 
it swam by and hung out. And now you have Andy's chocolate pieces on top that you can just dip and have a good time with while you're sipping your hot chocolate. We have more hot chocolate to try though. So let's get another one. I promised you guys another hot chocolate and it is another Specialty hot chocolate. This is a toffee hot chocolate. Um, it is hot chocolate, cold foam, and then toffee pieces on top. Mm, I am ready for it. Mm. Wait, the cold foam, the cold foam makes it different. It's not the same as like a regular hot chocolate with whipped cream on top. It's a fresh whipped cream. It's delicious, no matter what it is. For me, I don't like scolding hot drinks. I can't drink them. Like some people like they, they drink super hot. The cold foam like really cools it down. So you have to get like a big slurp of the cold foam before you get a little bit of the hot chocolate. And once it's in your mouth, it's the perfect temperature. And I am happy. We just saw the Dolly Express. Very similar to the Polar Express. It is a real cold train. And apparently it is a war hero. It was a train that was used in World War II. It is historical. That train is quite literally older than me and it is in fine working condition with a very loud horn. We hung out in the park and it like doo doo and it was so loud and anywhere in the park that it is, you can hear it. And real smoke bellows out, it is it is really magical. This is a Smoky Mountain Christmas for real. This is wassail. It's a real fancy way to say apple cider, but with most seasoning. Okay, so wassail is a like traditional Yuletide drink that you make for when people come to your house. Like if you get carolers or if like, you know, gift, gift giving, like Yuletide offerings, they bring you something, you give them wassail. Well, sailing is like the term for it, but I'm pretty sure it smells and looks like apple cider. Let's try it. So it's like, like I said before, it's like an apple cider with like much more seasonings, like a little bit more allspice than you think. You know, more nutmeg than you think. There's probably an orange or two sitting around in the brew. But <laughs> it's really, I just like imagine this orange like just <laughs> hanging out. <laughs> but it's sweet, it's apple, it makes you feel like you are in a Christmas I don't know, a Christmas card? Is this my Hallmark moment? Me hanging out in front of the trees with my wassail? We are at Iron Horse Pizza and this is the margarita flatbread. It is red, white, and green. So we have a red sauce, um, our fresh mozzarella cheese, and a lovely, mm, delicious smelling pesto. I don't, this is really, why they cut it like that? It's so big. I'm gonna have to like break it up. The train is back. It's that whistling sound in the background. It's just, you know, back there steaming. And I'm ready to try this pizza. Oh. If you tell me that this is better than New York, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm already mad. You know what? I didn't say anything yet. It's aside from New York pizza, you know? Like we're not even including, we're in Dollywood. New York pizza has no place here. This is their very own flatbread. And it is delicious. Like I love, I love a piece of margarita. It's simple, it's classic, it's red, white, and green. It's making you think of the holidays. And like, it's a lighter option. You know, a pizza sounds heavy, but like when it's a margarita pizza, it's not that much, you know? So you're not like super full. So this is $12.99. Um, if they would have cut it differently, I would say you legitimately would have got six squares out of it. Definitely shareable. Definitely you and your family can like have a little snack to keep you moving. And then you can ride some rides and get some out. We're still technically at the, like the pizza hut. You can get this from the pizza hut, but we came over here because it was so pretty. This is the loaded potato soup. So it is loaded with potatoes, bacon, cheddar, herbs, chives. Mmm. Oh, 
Okay. I love when I'm like eating soup and I can tell they used heavy whipping cream, you know? Like, this is rich, it is creamy. The cheddar has like a nice punch to it. Not too much bacon, just adds a little bit of smokiness. And then like the herbs is what makes it like chunky, taste. Chunky. Oh, a chunky chunky. Taste. I you just knew what it meant. Herby. This is so good. It's hearty. It's just what you want on like a cold, smoky mountain Christmas. <laughs> this is not a full advertisement. It is a full advertisement. <laughs> this park is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And the lights are all on. Oh, okay. So I have a Dollywood fact for you guys that I absolutely love. All right, so this park originally was not owned by Dolly Parton. It was not called Dollywood. It was actually owned by the family that owned Silver Dollar City. And so Dolly Parton was getting interviewed by Barbara Walters, and she asked her, like, what's your dream? What's next after this? She goes, I don't know. I really want to own a theme park. And so the people who owned this park saw that interview, and they called Dolly up, and they was like, you want a partnership? We got a theme park for you. How cool is that? I feel like that's, like, the perfect moment to let you know like you need to tell everybody what your dream is because you never know who's listening it's getting a little chilly julia my cake please <laughs> it's time for you to go in the line no i feel like it's my runway oh thank you <laughs> ridiculous and that's great <laughs> <laughs> if you don't feed me you know what look okay let me let me get through it first this is the pot roast mac and cheese they're mac and cheese with a slow roasted pot roast on top and then we got some like crunchy onion topping it looks amazing you know what Chelsea um, BTS moment Chelsea has told me twice that I better feed her a piece of this macaroni and cheese. And it is the season of giving. So you know what? Julie, you get I love you. Okay. You get the first bite. I get the first yes. bite. Yes. Oh. Yeah. What? That's a big deal. It's this a is a Christmas miracle. <laughs> Chelsea review time. Wait, my mouth's too full. Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. This is a hot take. Dollywood mac and cheese is the best theme park mac and cheese, period. You guys heard it first. Chelsea said this is the best theme park macaroni and cheese, and she's been to just as many theme parks as I have. She's just as much of an expert as I am, okay? So I'm a believer, and I'm going to take a bite. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> this pot roast is some of the most tender pot roast I have ever had, like, it is, you know when you're like, oh, it's fall off the bone tender. You don't, you don't need, you can cut it with a fork. This is what they were talking about. And like, not just tender because it falls apart, but like, think about the in between the meat, you know, like the tendons that hold it together, it's just butter. But then the mac and cheese, like, oh. These are the noodles that Julia likes. Julia likes when they're like spirally noodles. Come on, come in here. It's so good, right? The crunch of the fried onions. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, so you get creamy, cheesy, savory, crunchy, all in the same boat. It's perfect. This is a three bean chili. You want to know what the three beans are? Cannellini, kidney, pinto, and then it has a cornbread crumble on top. Mmm, okay. It's smoky. I'm trying, the sweetness is definitely coming from the cornbread crumble, but I want to taste the chili by itself to see if the chili is slightly sweet. So the chili itself is not sweet. It has a smoke to it. Very hot, hearty. And then you get sweetness from the cornbread. It's so good. So you get like smoky, you get peppery. It's hearty. Today we've had a really good weather day. It's generally colder, so everything is like warm and comforting and hearty. And now I am ready for the peace de resistance. The, the, the proverbial cherry on top of today's Christmas cake. And I'm not even gonna spoil it. I'm just gonna, come on, let's go. I'm gonna show you what it is. This is 
the infamous Dollywood cinnamon bread. Everybody and their mama, and I do mean that quite literally. I met a, a, a follower at a different theme park, and they said, what's next? And I said, Dollywood. And them and their mother said, you have to get the cinnamon bread. And so here we are in front of the grist meal getting the cinnamon bread. You apparently are supposed to just like pull it out. Oh, 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 oh my God. Wait, I can't. Ah! Oh. How hot is that? Piping. Everything we have tried here today at Jollywood has been special for Christmas. This is the only item that is evergreen. You get this every day of the year, 365. Well, actually, they not open every day of the year. But every day of the year that they open, you can get the cinnamon bread. <laughs> and then we have the apple butter that goes with it or the icing that goes with it. We gonna try both. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. Okay, I wanna try. This is the tried and true. This is the the one that everybody tells me to oh. try. Oh. I, I like, people be like, get extra. It's not fair to call it bread. This is a pastry. This is a, this is a, a baked good, okay? It tastes like if a donut came out hot and fresh, but in a loaf pan, each one of these slices. This one, this one, this one, this one. What's the best part of a cinnamon roll? The inside, the very center. Each one of these tastes like the center of a cinnamon roll. It is so good, so delicious. All right, let's try it with the apple butter. Oh, thank you. Thank you, apple butter lady. Oh. And it smells right. You know like when you go to the country store and get the apple butter? Oh my God, hold on. <laughs> wow, it's like a cinnamon bread dance. If I were a pastry, this is what I would want to be. It's sweet, it's thick, it's delicious. It's a line around the corner for it. This is who I would want to be. This is my whole personality trait from now on. Look at the bottom. Wow. That's what you want. That's the sweet meat right there. The bottom, oh, oh, oh. you deserve it. This the best slice. <laughs> Not your gremlin face. <laughs> it was so good. And I'm not ready for our adventure to be over yet. So we have one more surprise. Come on, Chelsea, we're going up the hill. I might cry. Ah! There is six million lights in this entire park. And oh my gosh, it is glowy. It is lit up. It is a Christmas dream. We have made it up all of the hills to our final surprise. This is going to be a holiday drone show. So this is our first time See the drone show on Iconic Eats. It's a historic event, guys. We're gonna watch the drone show and it's gonna be Christmas themed. And I'm so excited. This is the first time Dollywood has debuted a holiday show and we're gonna watch it together. Let's go. out of the park we just saw the drone show oh my god it was amazing i told chelsea when we first got here that if you play carol of the bills i will cry and they started with carol of the bills and like i tried to catch the tear but it came out i messed up my makeup a little bit it's fine we're not gonna worry about it because you know what i cry at the end of every episode anyway because this is the end, but not only is it the end of our magical experience here in Dollywood, it is the end of season four. You guys, we have made it. We have been to the theme parks. We have seen all of the sights. We have tried all of the food, but there's so much more to do. 
We have a whole nother year of doing this. I'm already excited for where we're gonna go next. Let us know where you want us to go next. I will see you guys in next season for another day at another park for another adventure. Bye! <laughs> Are you gonna cry again? Are you gonna cry? <laughs>